Good morning. It's Tuesday morning after the bank holiday and we're back at it. So uh, what are we on with today? Well, we're going to apply some liquid nitrogen, the final dose, onto the uh, spring barley. Yeah, the wheat's are looking pretty good. The rape, uh, yeah, the rape's looking well. Yeah, we've had a little bit of rain. It's just, it's helping. Not enough, but uh, yeah, we, we mustn't grumble. We must be thankful for what we've been given at the minute. This field's looking extremely well. It had uh, mushroom compost applied to it prior to drilling. Uh, also, it's um, it's a first wheat. It's after peas. But, uh, yeah, it's looking really well. Let's hope it, uh, it goes through to harvest nicely. Here we are. We've arrived at the tanks. The two tanks is uh, filled. Let's get shunted backwards in position. Alter the spray settings. What we'll put it on. Okay, so to the sprayer settings now, we're uh, putting on 190 litres per hectare, so that's good. Just going to alter the, uh, the nozzles now, from spraying nozzles to liquid fur nozzles. Um, and we're, we're actually, we were running quad nozzles on this sprayer, so it's very versatile. So liquid furt nozzles are on number two and four. So I'll put them in auto. We'll take that off and the uh, spraying ones off. Yeah, so as we start off slowly in a corner, it'll start off with the um, gray nozzles on number two. And as we accelerate forward and get faster and the output raises, needs more flow through, it'll switch to the second nozzle, number four. So it means we can vary the forward speed and still get a good spread pattern. Uh, that's that done. So now we just need to alter the parameters in here for when it switches nozzles. So we'll, we'll do that now. 0.05. And we need it to change over at about 2.8. So, yeah, that's all good. So, as you can see, at that speed settings, uh, pressure settings, we can spread between 98 litres up to 541 litres per hectare, which is a hell of an amount, but uh, not today. And I'll just get out of that. Yeah, um, now we'll uh, go into what I want to put in the tank which is a 6,000 litre sprayer but um, it holds, um, it will hold 6,500 if, if we're pushed but anyway we don't need as much as that so we'll uh, start a quick look on the, see what we want for all these fields I'm doing at the minute, this tank full yeah, but some of the fields are um, a bit new to us so we'll, uh, we'll make sure we've got plenty because I've got more fields to do after these so uh, We'll put five and a half thousand in. So, we'll extend to that. 1,500. There you go, 190 litres per hectare. And at five and a half thousand litres, we can do 28.94 hectares with this tank load. So, that's all well and good. There, yeah, we're all connected up. We're away. Start the fill. Yeah. A bit steady a fill, we're we fill with a three do with a three inch fill five. But uh we're the first minute I can do with a two inch one, so uh, yeah, steady away, but not too long it's filled up. Yeah. 
view over towards the towards Stumhoff. Yeah, those uh, steelworks site. It's all now industrial industrial units and that. Uh, totally been reclaimed. Here we are, just pulling around a field at the side of uh, Risby Warren, which is uh, it's in a conservation scheme in Natural England. Um, we have some uh, wild ponies on it, 17th of exact, uh, New Forest ponies, uh, and they just run wild. And, uh, and there's a few sheep as well on it. Um, round extends to about oh, around 300 acres. So it's quite a big area. Just thought I'd uh, share this view with you off one of our fields, which is on a hillside. Uh, overlooking what used to be the old Normby Park works in front of us. Uh, I said before, it's all been converted to uh, to warehouses and units now. And then uh, when I spin around, we've got the old uh, remains of the old uh, quarries for the steel works there. And then just in the distance, that's the existing steel works. What's still left at Scunthorpe. So, uh, yeah, you have a real good view from this field. Yeah, when you come down the hill, you've got to go back up the hill. This is probably one of our uh, steepest fields. Uh, it certainly takes a bit of pulling up when it's wet in winter. Yeah, the crop itself is... Uh, spring barley it's uh, the variety is uh, planet and uh, it's been drilled into a cover crop over winter with a uh, sky easy drill so all we did was spray the, the crop off the cover crop off and uh, we did actually go through the low disturbance subsoiler and uh, and then drill straight into it with the sky easy drill Right, we're in another field now, spring barley. This this field's been conventionally drilled rather than uh, direct drilled. It's had the conventional drill and conventional uh, tillage approach to it, which our system is uh, uh, Great Plains SLD, which is some soil loosening legs, discs, and uh, DD packer rings behind it. And then we usually cool to press it um, and then go straight in with the drill. So when we get to the end here, I'll just just turn the camera around and we'll show you uh, what it looks like. Yeah, you can see here it's it looks well. Lovely stand, a lot of playing. It's Planet Spring Barley again. It's a very good stand to be honest. Yeah, all the plants there, it looks very tidy. Uh, I'll, I'll film a bit of where we've been direct drilling into a cover crop and you'll see what I mean. It, it looks a bit more messy. Hopefully the end result will be the same, yields will be as good and uh, it could even be more profitable but this feels a bit better land than some of the uh, direct drilled uh, barley's on so that'll take into account a bit of the yield but uh, overall this field looks well. Well we're in a field of uh, Planet Spring Barley again that's been uh, direct drilled into a cover crop. As you can see, it just looks a bit messier. The plants are all there, but this is a totally different soil type to that last field I was in, what's conventionally drilled. This is a lot lighter, it's sand, uh, and every, as you probably know, we're the same as any other part of the country, or most parts, we're, we're short of water. We need a good rain, really. It just looks scruffier, but that doesn't really matter. If the crop grows away, and it gets up and uh, it costs a lot less to put in. That's all that matters really. If the bottom line says it's profitable, 
that's the best bit. I mean, all the plants are there. It's gone in really well, really, without disturbing the surface too much. I just thought while I was here, this field, it's what's called Dragon Bay. And this is the entrance, or this is the pump house, to the entrance of the iron ore mines, what go under the ground and go as far as Appleby. It's a massive underground mines with dump trucks can fit in and everything. And that's steel security fence. That's where the entrance is. Like you can't see it now, it's all grown up with trees unless you went around. But they still keep pumping the water out of the mines. You can actually go down them still. And this used to supply Scunthorpe Steelworks with iron ore many years ago. But, but uh, it's well worth uh, going and having a look at them if uh, anybody gets a chance. This is probably our steepest field, this one, on a good nice cross slope on here. I'll just spin round, you might get a, a sense of how we're draw bar on the sprayer. It's compensated for the side slope, so it's going to be following in the same wheel tracks as the track. Well, we're just finishing off putting the uh, liquid nitrogen on, some spring barley at one of our other farms. Um, as you can see, it's a very patchy emergence. Uh, it's been too dry, like elsewhere in the country. But this, this was direct drilled. It's spun planet spring barley, and it's got some very heavy patches in the field. And then as you get down the slope, we're on sand and there's a good emergence there. But uh, I'll get out and we'll have a look in a minute and uh, talk you through what's, what's actually been done to the field. Well, that's it for this week's uh, farm video diary. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. It's been, well, it's been all spraying, which often it always is at this time of the year. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed a bit of an insight into what we're doing still. And if you did, please hit that uh, like, subscribe and share button, please. And hopefully we'll do another one in another week's time. See you then.